What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to change the Google Workplace logo from Google services. So here is a user of Visual Moto, we use Google Workplace and next to the Visual Moto account user logo we have the Google logo type. And in today's video we're gonna learn how to edit this logo type so the user can see your brand logo, for example. And why does this is important? First, because it remembers your user that it's not only Google, it's about your brand. And second, because you keep looking at your brand name. This is very important for a business to su succeed, okay? So the process to enable a logo, it's really, really simple, but we have to follow some guidelines. I'm gonna share with you later so we can review and put all together, okay? So, first of all, go to your account, to your user account, you're gonna need to have the master access to the account, the admin, okay? So, click on the profile, and this screen is, man this account is managed by visualmoto.com. So, we're gonna go to the admin console, okay? Click on it or just type to Google Workplace on Google and search for admin console, you're gonna load a page almost like this one with your users, your billing information, some news, some updates, and next to the, your account, this is the master account, okay? So I have my user logo right here, but here is the master account. We have a button called Add Logo, okay? This circle button, click on it, this is gonna direct you to this page. We have the account settings logo. The logo will be displayed for all servers at Visual Moto. And what are all servers? Google Sheet, Google Docs, and other parts like Google Image, for example, Photos, and many, many other services of Google. So into this top right corner logo, gonna be replaced by the Visual Moto logo, okay? and we can upload a custom logo. However, let's learn more about what does this custom logo most have and what it can have, okay? Add your logo to Google Workplace. If you have the essential editions, get a feature, upgrade to enterprise. So you most have an enterprise account, okay? Logo image requirements, PNG or GI GIF, format only, no GIF will not be animated, okay? The maximum file size is 30 KB. The logo the service page displayed exactly in 320 pixels by 132 pixels, okay? So then for they recommend an image with this exactly size. Okay, if you upload an image with a lower size, Google gonna enlarge it and it may look a little strange, okay? To upload your logo, we're gonna show this on video, and the policies, okay? Google policies, okay? Powered by Google. Do not upload a copyrighted image unless you are the copyright owner, okay? so. No, nothing more. Let's upload the logo. I have made two versions of my of the Visual Moto logo, so we can upload all with the exactly size. Click right here, right here to select file to upload logo. This is gonna open your computer folders, and here I have two logo both with the exactly size that Google requires, okay? Let me try this dark one first, click on open, and here is the logo type. After one change made, click on save. Now, if I load some Google service, for example, Google Slides, for example. Here 
here is the logo that appears to my account. Really simple, right? Let me refresh the page. And here is the logo that appears. Of course, we can edit it in the case that you want. For example, let me select another file, another logo version. It most have the same sizes that Google recommends, but you can choose wherever file you want. Click on the file, upload, save the changes. Let's refresh the page. Google may take some minutes to update, to update the logo. No need to worry, it's just cache. Google works like this, no thing to worry. Wait, and you're gonna be able to see your brand logo. Nice and easy. And it is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And if you have a doubt or need some answer, feel free to write down into the comment section so I can do a video replying and trying to help you because I'm going to be very happy in understand how can I help you today. So I'm going to leave uh, some links into the description below of this video and I'm going to leave into the first comment fixed onto this video useful links to places where you can purchase a domain for 99 cents, a place where you can download design assets, tools, plugins, themes, all for free, and a place where you can purchase a hosting and gain a domain in a very, very cheap price, okay? So a competitive price. Don't forget to subscribe this channel for more tutorials because we bring new information every day. Check out the visualmoto.com or blog, review on wordpress.org or free WordPress team called Enzu that is the best free WordPress team on the planet and the borderless WordPress plugin in the case that you are doing sites on WordPress this is going to be very useful for you and don't forget to check to follow Visual Moto on social media. We are on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and we are all there bringing information and try to help people with their sites and online tools and I see you later. All the best. Just a final note. If you think if you find this content useful, don't forget to share with your friends, hit the like button. It's free and gonna help us a lot. Okay? So hit the like button. Share with some friend. It's free.